make that noise for the guys again? You heard that. That's what I've been hearing. I felt it, dude. It felt Why like it, it was in here. so loud in here. Ooh. Ah. Pass. I'm Joey Daly. This is my wife, Danelle Daly. Hello. We're the owners of Out West Cafe and Dollface Cheesecakes here in Markleyville, California. We opened up business in October of 2020. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with with your investigation. All right, Ghost Gang, we are standing in front of the Out West Cafe in Markleyville, California. Now, if you guys do remember Markleyville, we had actually gotten a call from somebody asking us to investigate the Cutthroat Brewing Company. And that location is actually one of our most viewed series on our channel to this day. Now, the Out West Cafe was rebuilt in 1960, but its history goes a lot further than just that. Like Ryan was saying, the history of this building actually dates back pretty far. Where this building stands today, it was originally a farm. It turned into a bar around early 1860 called the Arcade Bar. Unfortunately, around 1885, a massive fire destroyed nearly all of the town except for a few spare buildings. After this fire, they slowly started to rebuild. Now, going a little bit further into that horrible fire of 1885, the fire engulfed the entire town and everyone that they had found who had sadly lost their lives to the fire either remained unnamed or the names that they did keep and were successfully able to bury were kept in records. But unfortunately, another fire in 1912 took out the courthouse, which contained most of that record. So to this day, the actual death count is unknown. You go to the grave site, it just says like there's round placards. Uh, somebody went around looking for the bodies. And the grave sites are just marked with markers that say, here lays a human being, pretty much. Yeah, that's in reference to there was a lot of unmarked graves mm -hmm. up at the grave sites, up at the cemetery. And we were surprised at how many kids, because it names like child, child, child. And we were just like, wow, this is really, really interesting. <laughs> Prior to that, you know, this is all native land, all throughout the Sierras. So there's a lot of deep history from locals from that are around now that hear stories from their grandparents that heard stories before that from the natives that were here of some of the situations that would happen around here in Markleyville or Alpine County. What this building was before it was the arcade, nobody knows or what the land was used for, we're not sure. The site has quite a bit of history. Jacob Markley, the founder of the town, was actually killed right out front here. He was killed in a dispute with another gentleman. After Jacob had founded the town, he started selling off parcels. And another gentleman that he had sold a lot of parcels with had lived just a couple hundred feet down the street here. Jacob Markley, after selling off some of the parcels, realized that he needed to have some more income. A couple years after he had sold them, they discovered silver up on Silver Mountain about 20 miles up the road. So him being the entrepreneur that he is, he put in a toll bridge. He was making quite a bit of money with the toll bridge and the gentleman that he had sold several of the parcels to um, decided that some of that money should be his because it's people going through his property as well. So he walked up to Jacob Markley's house one day, all drunk and challenged him to a fight, and he ended up beating him up. Well, Jacob Markley with his pride hurt, went down the street hooting and hollering with a six gun in hand and calling the guy out for a fight. So they came outside right here on Main Street, which is now the California Highway 89, shooting it out where Jacob Markley was killed right outside of our building here. The site is also connected to what would have been the original butcher shop. The butcher shop was opened in the 1880s as well. The original butcher was killed by his helper. He had a disgruntled employee come into work one day and after a short argument, he grabbed a cleaver and stabbed the gentleman in the back. Well, he didn't get him good enough because he was able to fight back and stab him in the throat with a knife and crawled right outside of the building, right outside here, and died out in the street as well. We've had some weird things happen in the building. Uh, we've had knives move around, scissors move around, things like that while I'm working. I'll set something down, turn around, and it's gone. I was talking to the building owner a couple of days ago and I was telling him some of the stories and telling him there was going to be an investigation and asking him if he'd seen anything weird. And in that time, 
while we were talking, the meat slicer turned on on its own. And the meat slicer actually doesn't turn on even when somebody else tries turning it on. It's got a broken button, so you really have to push into it. So that was pretty eerie that that happened. On top of the, the knives moving, lights turning on and off, things like that, you hear people walking around. Not as much on our side, but really in the post office, they've got creaky floors. And when I'm downstairs, you could hear people walk in and out of the post office, come upstairs with no one around. I hear the door open and shut all the time over there, and I'll go over there no one over there. So that's that's also pretty eerie. Okay, before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself and the guys that are with me. My name is Ryan. The guy standing to the right of me, his name is Nick. Hi. The guy holding the big white light in his hand, his name is River. And the guy standing over here, furthest away from us, his name is Wyatt. We are here to communicate with you. We mean no harm to you. If you'd like to say anything to us and come and speak to us, I am holding a device in my hand. And if you grab onto this device, that'll indicate that you are here. If you don't feel comfortable with that, then there's a device in Nick's hand that you can use your words and speak to us with whatever you'd like to say to us. So if you can, please come up to us and show us that you are here. That would be amazing. Please grab onto this device that's in my hand. Don't be afraid. Object. Object. Yes, this is an object. This is how we can pretty much communicate with you if you are here with us. Do you like what Joey had done to this place? He had turned it into a cafe. What do you remember it as? What did this building used to be? Air. Air? Air? Air. Now there's actually a cellar right below me that um, eventually we're going to be splitting up, but you have to pull this plate up and that's how you get down there. There's also a back way, but we're going to choose this way. But for now, we're going to try and see if we could communicate with anybody who is in this general area. Floor. Floor? Floor? We were just it talking just about... It just said floor! We, we were, were just, just talking, talking about... about this little... Whoa. What's that? What's that? that? Were you just repeating what I had just said? I was talking about the opening in the floor that I can go down into the cellar. Is that what you were talking about? Okay, let's move from this area because yeah. it's really hey. loud. Hey. hey. Thank you for repeating basically what I had just said. That tells us that you were listening to what I, I was saying. Is that where you'd like me to go? Wait. Where was that back there? I heard it this way, which the door that leads into the, the cellar from the back of this building, it was open and the guys, River and Nick, had went to go close it. And you can hear that noise in here. Can somebody make a noise for us, please? I heard that though. It was really distant. You guys probably heard it better. That was like a loud noise, like something was getting moved. Been down there, moved. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for making that noise for us. Guys, come in, come in here. Can you hear it? Why, yeah, go in there and just listen. Can you make that noise for the guys again? You heard that. That's what I've been hearing. I felt it, dude. It felt like it was in here. so loud in here. Ooh. Pass. 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 Hi. Uh, I'm getting really chilled up. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. 
If there's anything you'd like for us to maybe pass on to anybody, words that you'd like to say to somebody, we can definitely pass a message on for you. Sometimes I feel like spirits, when there's too many people around, I feel like sometimes they get a little bit shy in a way. Me and Nick, go ahead and start the investigation downstairs. You two stay up here and see what you guys can get. I'll take the night cam. We'll just run the whole thing down there in the dark. Yeah? See if we could get anything different than what you guys are getting. Did you hear the slide that just happened? It was like something sliding. Two, you were just talking about two and two. Me and Nick, up. yeah, we're splitting off two and two. Um, Wait, did it good. just say tribe? Tribe? You know, because they were talking about how this used to be owned by the Native Americans, this whole land. Oh, yeah. So huh. if you want to, like, connect, you know, tribe to this whole area. All right, guys, me and Nick are going down in the cellar while River and Wyatt stays up here, so River's gonna let us down in the cellar. Okay, that's not creepy at all. I'm just gonna tell you that. Wait, who turned on the light? You turned it off. Guys, I swear I turned I off the light. I watched you. Me and River. Right, when I went to close the door, okay? No, but me and River, we both went down and I followed him, we went to the outside. Yeah, because I closed the door to keep it warm in there for you guys and I turned off the light because I wanted the night vision to have the best night vision. Door just rattled? Yeah. Nick. You're positive? Positive? Well, I You're watched positive. him do it. I think we were running the night vision cams like when you guys did that. They're rolling. No! Yes! Yeah. We were rolling them! Yeah, Should rolling. we check real quick? Look! I turned him off. I turned oh him off. Oh my god, did you hear that? When did they turn on? Oh wait, there must be another light. There is, there's two lights. It's so creepy. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Whoever is down here in the cellar, I'm coming down. You want us to close this on you? Yes, please. If you'd like to communicate with us, we're coming down here to communicate, talk to whoever is down here. Ooh. Oh, f What was that? You good? <laughs> was that the, the cooler? Kill. No. Just said kill. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That wasn't funny. Any last words? Remember me. I'm gonna close this on you guys. All right. Let's see if we could catch anything down here. Here, take that. I'm gonna turn off the light. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just us two up here. My name's River. This is Wyatt. Ooh. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's nice to see in here. Dark, dark, guys. If you want to communicate with us, we'd love to hear anything. If you guys want to see what we are seeing right now, this is what we are seeing right now. Oh my wow. god, again, dude. Unholy. So this is what we're seeing. The device is over there. Here's the thing. Okay. There's anybody down here. There it goes! Ooh. EMF was just going off. Can you spike that EMF for us again? If you were down here, there's a device over there. There's a light. Please grab onto that. Find it. Find it. Find it? Can you not find it? We have a device here. We have two devices. One of them, we can pick you up. We can see. So if you want to step in front of this device, 
Show us that you're here. Please grab onto that device. There's a green light on it. If you grab onto it, it'll start lighting up different colors. You want the battery pack? Fear me. Allow. Allow? Color. Oh my gosh. Color. Classic. I said, please grab onto that device. It's green. And when you grab onto it, you'll see more colors. Yeah, that too. Talk to us. God. <laughs> glowing. It glowing. just said glowing. Literally that second. There's a fan on that. Oh my Ooh. God. What? There was a huge bang down there with them. Is that, they're freaking out. Yeah, look at that. Something happened. Wait. Oh, that. Shh. Speech. I just heard something to my right. I heard that too. Did you just touch something over here? Just just move. Someone was in the kitchen. Did you hear that? There it went. Not the speaker. If you're in here, talk to us. Do something, move something, throw something. You don't hear those slight footsteps. There's no concrete up there. When, when I was down There's here, concrete down here. This I came down here alone earlier and I heard a single footstep just on the concrete, like right here. You hear that? No. Smoke. It smells you like smell smoke. That. I've smelled it the whole time, dude. That just went off again. Did it? Yeah. Didn't make a noise. Can you please grab onto that device that's in Nick's hand? If you don't know who Nick is, I will introduce myself and the guy with me. My name is Ryan. Dead. Oh. And the guy standing in front of me, Dead. his name is Nick. Hello. Is that you? Do you know that you were dead? There's two. Is that you right there? Can you make a knock, a noise, anything? Bang. Bang. It says bang. What was that? Literally, as soon as I said, make a knock, noise, or noise. Are you going to make a loud bang? We'd love to hear it. Kid. Kid. Is there a child down wait, here? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? Somebody was just around this corner. Yeah. That was loud. Why is it that every time we get closer to you, we keep hearing noises on the opposite side of us? Can you make a noise right in front of us? Coming back to the other side. Run. Run. Remember guys, this is the only way we can see. It's just through a tiny square. Small figures back. Oh. Go. It's almost like they're hiding. Why do you want us to go? Is there any way we can maybe gain a little bit of trust from you? Make you feel safe with us talking to you? Uh, what? Something? He is over your right shoulder. Is that you right next to me? Behind you. It said talk? Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm chilling up so bad right now. Do you mind that we're down here with you? How do you feel about that? What was that? Family. Oh, he's gone again. Talk. Family. 
family. Somebody's around the corner, dude. Is that what you meant? Is that you want to talk to your family? Who is your family? Brianna. Oh my gosh. Who's Brianna? Did she live around here? That's really weird, huh? That is really weird. If you're trying to talk to Brianna, yeah. What is that? I don't know. Can you try to make a noise to let us know where you are? Trouble. Trouble. Is it trouble being back here? Are we in trouble? Haunt. 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 Dude, this down here is pretty wild. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Kid. Kid. Thirteen. The little kid. Hold on. Brianna, thirteen, kid. I got the figure too, the small figure. Yes. There was a big one in his Yes. Well. Brianna, thirteen, and kid. Is Brianna your name? Please make a noise for us. If you are down here with us and would like to talk to us. Wait, no, not that. Did you hear that? There, dude, there are footsteps going on right now. Dude, somebody just came up to us, man. Dude, somebody just came up to us, man. Oh, dude, I just when ran you did my that, back into something. When you did that, I don't know if it was a shadow of something, but like one of our lights or. I don't know. I swore I saw like a shimmer, just a straight line right in front of us. Please tell me you heard the feet hitting concrete. Yeah, that's why that freaked us out. I just hit my back with whatever's. It's just patience? Uh, yeah. Inside. 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 Did you just run up to us real quick? Were you trying to scare us? Yeah. Do you want us to leave? Yeah, I'm feeling really uneasy mm -hmm. right here, man. I'm not getting like physically shaky. Yeah. You want to go up the steps and we'll go in and knock? Yeah. Or should we go up that way? Uh, I don't know either one. I think up the steps, but let's hurry before that thing turns on again. Dude, it's dude. You walked in front, he disappeared, he's back in the same spot doing the exact same thing. If that's you right there, can you please wave to us? That kind of looks like a wave, dude. That's what it was doing before when, we, when I asked. Yeah, that's a full-blown figure right here. Do you want to come sit with us and talk? Oh, Sam. Okay. Nick is down there by himself. I'm going to close him in. No, please. <laughs> I've ever seen you climb anything. Could not get out of there fast enough. It's been confusing up here, dude. We got a couple names, and then our device said family, Brianna, 13, 13 kid. Kid. 15. Wait, you we got, got kid? 15. And then just 15. We got kid. Grow. 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 School. We got, yeah, we got adult. School. Yeah. School. This is very odd. It's okay. so confusing. Dude. Okay, I, can I just explain something? One of the stories that we were told, a lot of the people who had died in the fire 
were untagged, unnamed, because all of the files had gotten burned. And a lot of them were children, and they weren't even able to indicate their families. They weren't even able to contact the families to tell them that their child had passed away if the families were survivors from the fire. So this is kind of odd, and this could... Be the kids from the fire? This could be. Could be, could be anything, man. But we've gotten lots oh, of... Girl. 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 Nine. Nine. Dude, what we're getting a Are we getting ages? No, right yes. now? Ages. ages. Okay. Are you guys telling us your age? If you are kids, please use your energy and grab onto to that device with all the colors. You guys want to hear something wild? We were down there and I had asked if they can grab onto that device and I said, the light is green right now. If you grab onto it, you'll see more colors. If. And then, if. If. You literally just said it. And our device down there said colors. Oh, dude, you forgot the biggest one. When we went down there, too, you just smell smoke. It's just a constant smell of smoke, and our device said smoke, too. It's like a fire. If you are a child here, around or in this building, can you make a noise for us right now? Yeah? Two knocks. Whoa! Dude, we've heard that like four times. Yeah. Did that just go off? Yeah. Wait, is that... Guys? Yeah. Here. That just ticked again. Us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I just moved it. Did we just bring you. it closer to you? Let's try this. If you are in here, please grab onto this device that's in my hand. You can trust me. Okay. Oh, there we go. It just went to yellow. It legit just went to yellow. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. Can you please try and grab that again? Best. Observe. Best and observe. You're doing great. There you go. There Thank you, go. you again. Do not be afraid of me. Thank you so much for grabbing onto this device using your energy. Grabbed on twice. So that's a good sign. Grab onto this device. What was that? Was the Back door. That was it again. That was a different noise. That was twice, right? Were you just right here? Is there any way you can make that noise again? That was the, guys, that was the bottom door. That's, that was the bottom door. I just, the hatch. No, 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 why? I just, I, I heard this thing come up because I, I picked it up myself and I closed it myself. That's what that was. That's like, it's like a hollow knock. Stairs. Stairs! I don't know. Should we open it? Open it. Open? Yeah, just said open. Are you down here? You just made a knock on this and you just said stairs. Are you down here? Guys, did you hear that too? Yeah. Holy <laughs> behind you, right? For a solid second, there really was something behind. Whoa. Was that the freezer door? I think so. Dude, I'm getting like such bad anxiety right now. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm going to be filming this hole if you can. Show me that you're down there. Show me that you're down there. Was that a whisper? No. What was it? Sliding or something. Okay. Wait! You heard a whisper? The river said you Neither were sliding. Of you 
Neither of you whispered, right? Because I heard a whisper. That's what I heard on my side, too. They said sliding, me and you say whisper. Yeah, I heard something. That's down there, yeah. Dude, we kept hearing all kinds of noises that down was there. like a... Somebody's walking down the river. Are you down there? Footstep. It just said footstep. footstep. Okay guys, so since we did hear all of that noise coming from downstairs and our device did say stairs, I guess all four of us are going back down there where me and Nick kept hearing footsteps. So let's I guess all four go down there and just see what we can find. Earlier, me and Nick were down here. I introduced myself. My name is Ryan and Nick was down here with me. The other two guys, Wyatt and River. Four. 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 There is four of us down here. By any chance, can you tell us why people can't remember your name? Why people can't find out why what your name is? There was a fire that burnt something down. If you can please let us know what that was that stopped people from being able to recognize what your name was, who you were, and why people don't know your name nor your family. Are you standing? Records. Records. I just got chills. Somebody was just sitting in the chair. Somebody was just sitting in the chair. Us. How many of you are down here with us? There's two, but I think it's just mapping out the poles right now. Unless if you guys are here, please sit in this chair for me so that we know that you're here with us. Guys. Slight footsteps right above us, dude. Yeah, yeah, you hear that? Did you go back upstairs? Can you make a noise for us up there? Nothing. Nothing. There. There. Nothing there. Whoa. Nothing there. That came out weird. Really weird, huh? Really weird. What do you mean by nothing there? I died. Did you just hear that laughing? Abyss. Did you just hear that laughing? I heard something, but I wasn't sure what it was. I thought Dude, it was that you. was like a... <laughs> I thought it was you. Down here? We, no. Me and River didn't, uh -uh. didn't say a thing. No. Nope. Sound fairly close to, to River or, or behind River. Did you just laugh? Oh my gosh. That just freaked me out so bad. Did you see that? I've before? seen yeah, I saw it when we came down here. Fine, dude. That scared me so bad. Who's down here with us? Why are you sitting in that chair? Are you a child? Who's down here with us? Why are you sitting in that chair? What was that? Did you just knock something off the shelf or throw something? We can't find it. What was it? 
It was like a ting. It was like... Was it that? It could have been that. Guys? Did it sound like that? It's really... Might have been that. I might need to get out of here, out of the basement, dude. I don't know what what's going on with me. I'm feeling really weird. Let's go. Yeah. The bus just said your name. It did? Yeah. Did it really? Ah. Guys. What? It just hit it's, red. It's twice. hitting red. Yeah. There. There. Keep doing that, please. Okay, so before we do end it off, Joey did mention to us, because there is a post office that's connected to this building as well, he said that people would tell stories about how they would go and get their mail in the post office and it'd be just them, and they'd think that somebody was walking in because it sounded like footsteps approaching towards them, and so me and River are gonna run over there. Um, Wyatt and Nick are going to see if they get any more interaction, and then after that, we're just gonna end it there. So if there is anybody in here, if you can walk up to us. <laughs> Hang on, stay still. Can you please... Can you walk up to us, please? Thank you so much. I'm already very, very on edge as it is. Just felt very uneasy down in the basement. Can you grab onto this device that's in my hand, please? You're gonna have to walk to us. Thank you. Please come closer. Please come closer. That's the thing, it's like sometimes these buildings are very old, but like it's, it's, I don't know. I haven't been here long enough to indicate if those are full footsteps, but it does sound like when we were stepping through. Hmm. Yeah. Can you please make a loud stepping noise? Use your weight if you can. I just wanted to let you know that all four of us do thank you for getting in contact with us. We were very pleased with the things that you have said to us and the answers that we had gotten. Okay guys, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Joey for letting us come here and doing an investigation. I feel like it's more than just one spirit definitely in this town. Like I said, this place is across the street from the cutthroat and you guys, if you guys did watch that series, you guys remember how crazy it was for us at the cutthroat. So many horrible things had happened here in this town. Why wouldn't there be a spirit in at least each and every one of these buildings? Because I, I feel like the spirits can just go back and forth. So thank you so much, Joey. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.